This was our thing before we even dive into this shit. Like, my man, she's a woman. We look at the world entirely differently, right? So, like, when we have our our, our arguments and shit, I'm talking about like literally something, and I'm, I'm addressing. The facts of I'm addressing. What I'm addressing the facts. I'm like, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of up. It's kind of hard. I'm, and, and, and the way I perceive, I'm like, I'm literally this is what I'm talking about the facts. Right. But she's reacting off how she feels about what the hell's going on. Right. So we're both talking about the same incident, but she's processing it emotionally. I'm processing it rationally. Right. So that's when that friction comes. Right. So then, you know, I had to take after. Now, now I dial it back and I consider how she's going to feel about this fact I'm going to provide her. So mm -hmm. I got to figure out how I'm going to deliver the message to her. Right. I mean, but now we're at the point where she knows, like, because I had, to, I had to do all that because she would get offensive. That's, how, that's the world she lived. That's how, how she was. But now we're at the point now where she, if I can say whatever the fuck to her, it's not going to fucking bother her. Yeah, you can right. tell me I'm a fucking piece of shit on my dick <laughs> and I'd be like... Well, I still consider her feelings, I see where I'm you're saying. coming from. I still consider her, <laughs> what I'm saying? But, like, it's, yeah. it was the same situation. We're looking at it this, but I'm like, damn. And then when we look, take a look back, I'm like, exactly what the fuck it is. Like, it's yeah. emotion. But even no, that's, that, that's that exactly like, it. men and women are so different understanding those differences of each other. Like, CD, I'm sure, has never had to, like, try to understand, like, how a woman takes information or right. even care to do that so well that book i was telling you about it talks about that in the book like it talks about how men are driven logically like by fact yep. and women are driven emotionally and that's something we all know though but right. i i didn't i, I that, didn't but, but didn't know it it, it it was to that extent though yeah because yeah like he would tell me something and i'd be like cool that's the fact but he literally made me feel so bad i had the worst like week of my life from what you told me and it's like do you at least care how bad you made me feel because if you do now i can listen to what the fuck you're talking about but the fact that you don't care about yeah how you've made me feel all communication stopped there so it's like when he started acknowledging how i feel i start to listen to what he's saying and not it, it just like it, it's like a muscle at the gym right we like lift that we practice that muscle all the time where we communicate and so now it's like so you know we literally can talk about the hardest thing ever like no matter what it is like parenting money family like you know personal like things you and know, we agree on a lot of the same things it's just that i'm a man she's a woman so yeah. right women. It's a fundamental difference in how you go about it, but, the but even like growing are... together, like watching this shit together and learning about men and women, like mm -hmm. I learned a lot about men and women of how I'm like, damn, you know what? I never thought I was an emotional person. I thought I was more rational, but that's cat. Like I'm yeah. definitely. I... <laughs> she said that's cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would. She's way more emotional now because of him. But... Yeah, it's your fault. Yeah. He did it. Babies will bring that out of you for sure. And not, yeah, I just. I don't know, I'm getting Being a mother is everything. like the most feminine that you can be. Yeah, you're, it's it's different. It's um, you're caring for another life. You're nurturing. Your maternal instincts are activated. Yeah. Because I'm like, thank God I have Teddy. Because if I didn't have any vessel to pour my love into, oh, yeah. I have so much love to give. <laughs> yeah. I would just be bursting. Because it yeah. does. It starts to kick in at a certain age, like even more. Dude, I, I'm, all my girls, they're all, how old are you, going to be 30 this year? I am 20, I'll be 30, I'll be 30 in June, Teddy. but you know, my girls are 32, 33, 34, 35, yeah. so, you know, some have had kids, but want more, like had kids when they were young, that want kids now, that want more, more now, yeah, hold on, I, I, I do want to, I do want to add this, because, um, Sometimes the word feminism gets used like, you know, crazy depending on your interpretation of it. Mm, I think yeah. we're living in a generation now where women are stepping up and women are are becoming some of them providers for themselves and whatnot. And but what I think is important mm -hmm. is for women to know when to sit in your masculinity or when to sit in your femininity. So you're conditionally It is. You're conditional. What do you mean I'm conditional? So one minute you're masculine, one minute you're feminine. No, we're both. Everybody's both. Everybody's 100%. both masculine and feminine. You both have the. You, you everybody when has testosterone and estrogen. Yeah. For everybody sure. has it. It's in. Our, it's in our DNA. No, I, literally. I, I, so, I, get, I get what you're saying. So what I'm saying. Do I do anything feminine? <laughs> I I can't think of anything. I was trying to. Do you do anything feminine? Well, I mean, she like she said like everybody's got both, but I'm trying. Some to people have like point zero one percent. Yeah. 
Or I'm trying to or, see how it, you would know more than anybody how it presents How much time itself, you spend in the mirror? I don't. None? None. I'm old school, though, so like... I mean, I guess about your haircut, but that's not feminine. You just yeah. keep your hair clean. I think that's like the one thing you like spend time on is... Because you do your own hair, and that's yeah. probably that. But if I went to the barbershop, I wouldn't fucking do it, but... Like clothes and fucking skincare and shit. <laughs> the most, like you saw, I was like, you need some lotion. <laughs> I guess I should take ownership and like how I be dating like some girly men too, though, because I do tend to go for like the metro type. Well, that's your fault, then. I know. No, I know. But that's you want, not. You want, but you could be. You could be more metro and still not be. I'm just so feminine. Shit. I'm just, like, but I mean that today society. If you see a metro motherfucker, you probably got more some gay tendencies. You know, 100%. And yeah, that, that's, that's the problem is that I, I go for the pretty boys. And the pretty boys, I can't be too pretty motherfuckers. It can't. Yeah. It can't. No. I take a, I take a rough motherfucker over. A- and then I was going to stop it too. She said, switch it on and switch it off. You can't switch it on, switch it off with your man. You got to be feminine all the no, time with your man. We talked about that earlier, where she was saying, like, when you're in business, like, yeah. you have to be Which I, I think she's talking about move. within the confines of relationship. Though. Oh, that's what I think she's that's talking what you about. Think, and that's like, I think that doesn't work. You can't like do that. that. You can't yeah, be masculine yeah. with your man at all. No. It's also an estrogen. Yeah, for everybody sure. has it. It's in our, it's in our DNA. I, so, get, I get what you're saying. So what I'm saying is sometimes when women in the work fields go and present themselves, they sit in their masculinity, and go. some of the dumb, some of them don't know how to come home and sit in that femininity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, Flip the switch. That's a problem. We're complex creatures. You're right. And I, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm saying for whoever's watching this, <laughs> like as women mm-hmm. who are successful, need to learn how to sit in their femininity when need be. But I do think also I some men that. who are masculine do need to learn to sit in their femininity. You don't have to be, and be empathetic this all the time is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Well, I guess uh, that, that way. That's cat. Well, what? you guys mm. had you guys kind of told me that too. Like you yeah, have to that's learn why I have. I guess that's feminine traits. If I'm fucking being how I need to be. I wouldn't to, consider that to yeah. be feminine though. Thank you. I wouldn't. You you understanding how to communicate to me. Yeah. In a way it's that I would masculine. hear it That's has nothing eating. to do with you sitting in your feminine. No, you're not sitting in your feminine. I was trying to make what she was no, saying. No, I sense. agree. Yeah, that's not feminine at all. That's more the masculine quality because you are taking the lead and in initiating, trying to understand her emotional side to be able to best communicate with her yeah. for the sake of your relationship. So, with what she's saying, do you feel like there's times that men need to sit in their feminine? No, no. Never. no. I don't agree. If, with that. Yeah, like. And I feel like we've heard this girl say like, oh, it's like so attractive no way, when man. you like tell me about your feelings and they want like, to cry to me. I think it's okay for men to cry if they had a, a death in their family. Yeah. I don't think it's healthy to hold that in, but I wouldn't consider that to be feminine. Yeah. I would consider if anything. What if a I- man is crying because he's had a rough day at work? That's pretty feminine. <laughs> that's, that's, Thank an emotion, you. that's an emotional response. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, a, no. a masculine, manly man will not come home and cry. Like, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. That's soft. Yeah. yeah. I don't want no soft man. Their femininity. And you don't have to be, and be empathetic this all the time, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, no, do not be vulnerable with women. I, 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 but you've, 100%. Never, been you've never been in love. You want to do the example? I don't like this. Either. Women are not built to handle masculine problems. We are the, being this vulnerable with a woman is some of the worst shit. advice. I, every video I pull up, you're going to get the same shit from women. Women are delusional. All of them. Honey. And these aren't. These are like good. This yeah, is like they're. Yeah, they're like. These are they're, good. They're encouraging. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta you gotta play her like the. T- the trash shit. <laughs> well, like when they have all the girls on there, like these girls are well spoken and. You know, she's actually made a lot of really good points. I mean, some of, you know, some whatever were not good, but... Yeah, yeah. I don't agree with anything that she's but saying. If you don't agree with anything that she's saying, this is the best representation of today's woman that you're going to get and right now. And that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, that's you just wait. Hold problem. on. We got to show her the, the other yeah. ones. Hold on. Let me let this rock for a little bit. Yeah. More. That modern day women give to men because if I sit there and I cry to you, oh my god, my life is hard, blah 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 blah. You might sit there and console me for a bit, but deep down you're like, you fucking bitch. You're no, gonna go and that find is someone. So not true. Wait, 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 pause it, pause it. I was in high school. I was a junior, junior in high school, and I had a boyfriend um, who cried on Valentine's Day because I told him I couldn't be with him because I was on punishment. 
And I immediately wanted to break up with him. <laughs> immediately. 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 Like, some people would be like, oh, that's so cute. Like, he just really likes you. And, like, he was so impacted. Like, no. Why are you crying? <laughs> I can't even relate because I ain't never been with somebody so soft. In Why my do life. I keep meeting these soft ass yeah, motherfuckers? Was, you know it, was he Metro? That's. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you go by the pretty one. <laughs> I mean, I've, 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 honestly, like I, I, I've never. I've never dealt with that she ever. He cried because we couldn't see each other on Valentine's yeah. Day. I broke up with him the next day. Mm, mm, I was at least, mm. like, considerate enough to wait till the next day because I knew he was going through it, but do not cry to me. I'm sorry. Unless you had a death or yeah, something. something to actually something. cry about. And then, like, it's if, it's dope how that, not dope, but uh, interesting how that works because, like, I'm, I'm like, the I don't want to say I'm not eating. Most of it's like I'm like, like a demon or some shit, but, like, I don't, I don't yeah, show. Stevie doesn't live in emotion world. I don't at I'm all. Very emotional, but, but that's what I'm saying. But I what I'm, but what I'm saying is that since I am that way, if she ever saw me broke down, the fucking world is ending. You know yeah. what I mean? So oh, somebody's like, got to die. Like yeah. somebody. So did like, is that, it, it has somebody to be, killed his dog? Like it's got to be on a situation like that. Like if this motherfucker's hurt like that, it's a, no, if no, you no, just no. crying because of. You're like, out. I wasn't even crying because I couldn't see you on Valentine's Day. Why are you crying? <laughs> So then, like, why do you, where do, why do women start putting energy like this, this out there? This cat, like. But why? If, if she really feels that way, why do you feel like she wants that? Because she hasn't, like. Because she hasn't experienced it. No, she hasn't apparently. experienced it. I don't so think she, that's it. I don't think that's it. I think it's because she is truly masculine in nature. I don't think she has fully embraced her femininity. And she's the type of alpha woman that looks for the beta man. You think so? I think that that's what she's looking for. She wants to be the masculine energy. Yeah. Now, if you've identified yourself as being the feminine energy and you want to play that role, then a man that shows beta qualities like that and his femininity is going to turn you off. Thanks. I think, I mean, I, I would bet that she wants an alpha male. But, she might tell you that, but what she's saying is otherwise. But I think that if she had actually experienced a really soft ass dude, she would not like it. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. She probably just it, has it, 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 it sounds good. It sounds good, but or, that's not really Or, good. like, you know, if a dude is like. Not being empathetic, not communicating, out there cheating, you know, just kind of playing. It's probably, the you know what I think? I think, so I, think, I, think, that, I, think I think it may be like that whole like toxic masculinity shit in the ways of like get rid of that. Like motherfuckers out here doing too much. They need uh, to be more strong. like just because like I'm I'm empathetic. Well, I'm not empathetic. How I am with you, how she described it was perfect, but. Maybe that's what she's trying to describe, but that's not necessarily a feminine that's trait. That's not feminine. It's not, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's misrepresentative. That's how she's trying to define yeah, it. That's like, not I don't, feminine. Yeah. That's actually more masculine than anything because for a man to be able to step outside of himself for the benefit of his relationship and his family, that is a true definition of a leader. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's emotional intelligence to be able to right. communicate a in a person's trait. language. Right. 100%. So maybe, yeah. It has nothing to do with your soft because yeah. that's you how I that's how that's how I process it. Being feminine is like just being soft. But it's like, all right, cool. You understand yeah. that I'm different than you. I'm a female. You're a man, and I live in emotional world. So understanding that and being able to speak to me, understanding that I live, I'm an emotional person, mm -hmm. does not make you feminine. Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree. But and it's all cat because. The majority of girls yeah. will not respect and look at a man the same if he was ultra emotional. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We'd be like red flags. We'd just be fine because <laughs> we're not made up that way. Yeah. That's not. And we might not even not know that, like, that that's red flag. We just might, you know, look like. Mm. 